could you imagine what it would be like to be the brother or sister to the president of the United States or the prime minister of England? I imagine it would be just a little bit stressful. But could you imagine what it would be like if your brother claimed to be the son of God? That's exactly the relationship that Jesus' brothers and sisters found themselves in. Matthew 13 verse 55 tells us the name of Jesus' four brothers and the fact that he had sisters, so he must have had at least two. So there were at least six siblings in Jesus' family born to Mary and Joseph after the supernatural birth of Jesus. And yet the Bible tells us in John chapter 7 verse 5, and even his brothers did not believe in him. These were men, these were people who grew up in the same house with him, who knew many things about him that perhaps the general public did not know. Yet, as he began his ministry and was involved in his ministry, he was preaching and teaching. The text tells us they did not believe in him. In fact, in the earlier verses of John chapter 7, it's one of the feasts of the Jews and they're all going to Jerusalem and they encourage him. Why don't you go and work your works there? You know, they, they acknowledge that he could do great things and he could work works. And yet it appears that they're taunting him because they don't believe in him. Apparently all of that came to change. In Acts chapter one, after the death, and burial, and resurrection, and then ascension of Jesus, the Bible tells us that in addition to the apostles in that upper room, and in addition to the mother of Jesus, Mary, in that upper room, his brothers were also there. And from what we understand, the New Testament books of James and Jude were written by two of Jesus' brothers. And so apparently they came to believe in him. Their attitude and their heart changed and developed into faith. Interestingly enough, Jesus is our brother. You are Jesus' brother or you are Jesus' sister. Do you believe in him?